Hello everyone, it's bloody sunny today isn't it? Jesus, what's going on? And we've got builders over the road making noise. I can't see a bloody thing. Anyway, welcome back to Bonsai. Welcome back to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph, as we all should know by now. Hello. <laughs> you might realise that the, uh, the quality today is a little bit, well, it's not the greatest. See, my camera's broke. Well, at least the screen on my camera's broke, so it's in for repairs today, and we should be back to normal as of next week. So I do apologise for the lack of quality in this video. But, it's just one video, so I do apologise as I say. So, I feel like I'm burning. It's January. Woo! So, let's find out how warm it is. Where's my thermostat gone? Thermometer. Thermostat? Thermometer. There we are. 20, 18, 16 degrees. Look at that. 16 degrees at the end of January. That, my friend, is amazing. Ooh. Anyway, we need to be getting on because this is a long intro so far. So, Watch my friend Xavier over Bonsai Retreat and he was talking about Larch the other week and um, how Harry Harrington recommends repotting his Larch in January. Now, if it's good enough for him and that guy knows a lot, I thought I'd give it a go. So this is my little Larch and it's my favourite little Larch. I still haven't decided where we need to go with it because it needs a repot and until I repot it because it's it's if you see it's if I can get I can get my fingers in there so it's like it looks like it's on a repot on a funny angle so until I repot it and I see the angles where I need to go I can't make a decision on where I need to go with it what angle where to trim because the tree itself I feel like do I leave it as a trim trunk? Do I grow it down and have this as over here? I've got so much ideas running through my head. It, I, I want to do right by it, let's say. I don't want to ruin it by taking the wrong step with it. It's already nice and I don't want to ruin it. So, I want to repot it. But I don't want to kill it either. But, I do want to try it. Now, I've got a taller larch. But like I say, if it's good enough for Harry, it's good enough for a peasant like me. So, I'm going to repot it today, at the end of January. It's 16 degrees. What's the worst that can happen? Hmm. Anyways, I can't be too concerned about it. As much as I love this tree, it only cost me five English pound. So, how did I get it for five pounds, you ask? Well, if you go to my... My video from 2002's Birmingham Bonsai Boot Sale. Yeah, don't say that too fast. It's in there. That's where we got it from. And um, you get some good bargains there. So, I thought I'd put it on this little pot. I've got it all set, ready to go. And I think this little thing... And let me get hold of this pot, I don't want to be dropping it, I've already set it all up. So if we got this, and we put that in here, this is more difficult than it looks. If we get them all on the right angles, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not doing this very well. Something like that. You know what I mean. I, th I think we can get a decent tree, get the right angles. So, let's get this repot, let's have a look at the roots. With larches, the roots, we only take a little bit out. We just need them out, radial wise. Any crossing roots we'll get rid of. Majority of the roots we don't mess with, just they are temperamental. So, let's get it in some nice soil, get it in there, tie it down, and see what angle we're playing with. And then we can make some decisions later on. We might trim it back a little bit, possibly wire it. But, it's good enough for Harry, it's good enough for me. 
Xavier, this is your fault. Let's go. Before we get you set on the tripod, we'll just give you a quick walk around. So as I was saying about these roots, so you can see just under here, I can get my fingers right under. So it looks like, if I just move this out of the way, that the planting angle should really be, if I get you there, it should be something like that, which then puts the tree on, a, on an angle like this. Which doesn't look too crazy. It just means we cut back. So it should be something there like that. Which does look nice. As you can see, I'll move this away. A nice couple of roots here. But we just need to get this on the right angle. And towards the top, it does angle this way. So what do we do? Do we wire this straight up? Do we cut back? I've got the decisions to make. And again, I wanna make the right ones. I don't wanna be cutting too harshly or take away too much. I wanna try and get it right first time. Well, that's how the tree looks. So I think if the tree looks something like there already, I think what we just need to do is maybe wire this out maybe just here, giving us a sense of depth and a back branch already wires up and then this comes outwards. But because it goes so far out, it looks nice here, but when you go up, you see how far that branch goes out. So we probably have to just pull that right back and then start developing shoots. So we cut it back here maybe. Bring this one back in. Bring this one down. And here, start making it all more compact. And then we do the same with the rest of these branches. So it, from the angle that we're looking at correct, um, normally it looks worse. But as I say, when we look from this angle, it gives the illusion that the tree's already set. And it looks nice here. But once we get in, you realize everything's long and leggy. It's quite deceptive. So, it has the right movement though. I do like it. I just need to get it repotted and make sure the roots are okay and then the right angle is correct and if it is we can start proceeding make sure we've got it all correct but overall i do really like this tree i just want to make sure i get it right because that bone structure is there and if i can continue with it just as it is most of my life is made easy right let's um Let's put you on the tripod, let's get it out of this, out of this pot, see what we're working with and hopefully let's start making our way into this little pot here. And then if it is on the right angle as I say and it's like that, if I can bring this in, it should look something along the lines of that, which will be nice. And let's see what we can do in terms of these roots. So I've never seen what mix we've got here. So if we bring you in, you can see we've got a bit of soil and it is rather damp. But we have a half decent mix. Looks like we've got perlite. Um, probably the clay molar kitty mix that I use and some soil by the looks of it so a half decent mix I'm just going to start by just gently teasing the, the roots out as normal and 
everything looks to be healthy so I'm just gonna quickly go through this and I will uh, just skip ahead if I have any issues I'll just come back and show you if not I'll just skip ahead to uh, to me being a uh, getting all this out because we've seen it all done before radially go out from the trunk so you don't need to see me do this again but if I have any issues I'll just come right back and show you the issue I've got if not I'll see you when um, when this is all done the worst possible outcome look at the state of that so Ideally, my root plane would be somewhere there. Instead, we've got this gigantic root that comes all the way down. And we've got all this here. So you can see better here. Look at it. And then, here, just at the end, all this. And then here. So the root plane focus should be somewhere there ideally so ideally what I'd want let's remove that is something there instead I've got all that What torrid looking roots system we've got here. Right, let's change the camera angle so you can see better what I want to try me doing. So to take a look in detail, <coughs> excuse me, the original planting angle of what I would like would be somewhere like that. So you've got all this and it goes all the way down here. So if we were to plant it on this angle, I would want to grow a new root system here. So the best idea for that, I feel, <coughs> this long system here, if I remove here, just there like that, I'll take that off. there's a chance it would develop at least some sort of roots here. Possibly. No, in fact, I need to take more off. Bringing it back. Taking that off as well. Okay, so uh, so when we do, I'm going to replant it again at the angle I want, which is I am going to plant it at this angle. And I'm going to plant it up to here. So I'm going to hope that I can develop roots up here. And then if not in the future, we're going to try and air layer from here when it's a little bit bigger. But for now, I'm going to tidy this lot of roots up so that we don't get a stupid ball of mess. So anything ingrowing towards the bottom. So come on, focus. I'm just going to neaten up. So that we don't get tangled. Because 
with these roots. Oh. Growing up back on themselves. I'm still treating them the same way I would if I wanted the roots, which is if it's growing back on itself or if it's in the way or if it's crossing I'm removing Still taking the, the theory that I'm developing a root system because a healthy root system leads to a healthy tree. Whether we're going to be sticking with this root system or not, I don't want them interfering and restricting the tree's growth. So we now have a section here. Sorry for the lack of focus. But we don't now have a section here where this section is not growing into this bottom section of roots. Everything is quite fine and twiggy. Just trying to grow, split everything between it. Let's try and get between. Untangled, come on. Big massive mess. So it's not a massive mess anymore. Taking the lump off the side, we've got space in the middle, I've got no crossing roots, please focus. Come on, I've got no matted, as I say, I've got no crossing roots, I've got space, I've got space in between. I'm going to plant it up on the angle that I do want, which is here. So this is going to be, well, let's... So when we plant it up, I'm going to plant it up on the angle which is here, like we said before, somewhere like that, and then when we air layer, we will air layer somewhere along here, have that as my soil line. So then when we develop roots, we'll develop them up here. For the time being, these will grow the tree on. So I'm just going to remove some of these higher roots. So that when we do come to air layer it, we've got plenty of room. So I'm just going to take that off. Snip that back and that one because it's crossing. Which probably means that this pot is not going to be deep enough. So, back to the drawing board in terms of a new pot. Right, let's pop this in some water and let's find a new pot. Now, the idea, I'm going to pot it up in this pot here and I'll show you why now. So I'm going to take my tree and then this pot is deep enough that I'm not going to put it all the way in but I'm going to pot it so the roots are just in enough and then the tree is going to be out enough so I will air layer this come spring and then I'm going to put a new pot here on top I'm going to go for the air layer in the spring 
that gives me plenty of room for it if I repot it to here and expose the other roots that way I've got plenty of room up top so we're gonna do that so let's do that let's fill it up with some soil Just there, I think. So I'm making sure all the air pockets are released and then, then these roots are firmly secured because I'm not tying it down, getting all these, all the gravel in between, well the soil gravel in between all the roots will keep it secure and then what I'll probably do is just place a couple of pebbles on top just ensuring that the tree is stable in the pot. And I've actually got bit of moss left over as well so I'll place that on top you know what I don't have any rocks but we've got a nice Buddha if we can put him in so he can stay keep him secure so we'll just leave him there at the back there we go So I'll just water that in. So here she looks at the moment, looking quite nice if I do say so. So this is the final planting angle I think, but as I say, come the spring, well, mid spring, I'd like to air layer, probably round about here. So if I do round about here, and we can get that sort of the soil line, root line, we should have a fairly decent sized trunk somewhere around here, I think, we'll cut. Try and get us try and get that there. And then this should be the tree. We have a nice little bit a nice little curve slash bend. And then this is our first branch. Comes off and then goes back as well. So while we're here and we're doing that, she looks quite tidy but we need to neaten her up. So first things first. This little branch at the front, it's got to go, so let's get in here and just remove it. Probably what we should do is use the right tool for the job, which is this one. There we go. And then I'm going to just start by bringing everything back to where it should be. Everything's just that little bit too far. Now uh, maybe that is a little bit too wide, but for now, we'll just leave it there. Just like that. 
In fact, we will bring it back a little bit more to at least there. Which means in this case, this has got to come to probably somewhere here. Here. So we've got branch here, this one, probably going to lose it I think, this one coming out, definitely got to go, bring that back. Let's bring this in a little bit more. That's got to come in a hell of a lot more. Just to there. Bring that in somewhat more at the top. So we either straighten that up or we just leave it for the time being. This top bit here is dead. So let's take that out. This side branch is too heavy. It's probably a little bit too strong, too far wide. So bring that back to there and there. Probably at least too strong still. Still too heavy. So I'm just going to remove it back there. After removing that, this whole branch just shows how heavy it is. From this angle you can't see it. So let me just pick you up and you'll see how long that branch actually is. So from this angle, it just shows you I need to re reduce it significantly. So, where do I bring it back to? At a very minimum. Very, very minimum there. So looking at it back from your angle, let's bring it back down. How does that look? Doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me just show you what I've just quickly nipped off. I'll bring you up. So that strong branch is probably now a little bit too thick, but it'll bud and then hopefully it will develop. I still feel this branch maybe needs bringing back, but I'm just gonna wait for them buds to pop and then we'll see. 
they'll shoot and then uh, we'll probably reduce it some more come what spring when we develop a bit more branching this branch here as it goes up you can now see this is a back branch it's probably too too strong and too lengthy but I'm just going to wait for them buds to pop before I make my final decision let me pop you on the tree well let me pop the tree on the tree on the little spinny whirly thing and we can get a proper look so there we go this first branch again I still feel it's probably a little bit heavy Probably gonna to want to at least bring it back to there. I'm not left handed. I'm gonna to have to switch. Let's switch cameras with this hand. And we're in here. Maybe still a little bit long, but there we go. Right, so there we go spin you around so this back branch as you see is very heavy do I bring it back now or do I just let it bud out I'm just gonna let it bud out and see what happens first So there we go. Once them buds pop in the spring, I'm gonna wait to mid spring and then I'm gonna attempt the air layer just round about here. What do you think? Good decision? That's if she survives, as I say. This is down to Harry Harry Harrington's advice. January, doing the root work. Let me know if I made a good decision doing this. And what do you think? Is this a good decision? I'd like to uh, have some input on this one. Little latch, all root pruned, all potted up. So I've added a little bit of wire, so just to keep the the tension down, I trimmed it back a little bit more. So just to keep it back down a little bit more. Um, yeah. So that's it. Fingers crossed. As I say, the technique's good enough for Harry Harrington. And on the advice of uh, Xavier over at Bonsai Retreat, we should be all right. I've got my fingers crossed. Everybody watching this, please keep your fingers crossed. We should be all right. I'll let you know how it goes. Come spring, when them buds push out, they're going to push out. My fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everybody's fingers crossed. They're going to push out. We'll be all right. We've not done too much root work. We just took that big, that unsightly one on the corner so we can raise it up and get the uh oh god i hope this works <laughs> it's gonna work it's gonna work i do like this tree please i don't want it to die leave a comment down below wish me luck because i really want this to work anyway if you like this video and um again i apologize if the uh the quality is not the usual standard um it's on an older camera but it seems to be holding up all right no i think it's all right but we'll be back to the normal camera next week i've just got to get one more sensor fitted on it and it should be good to go so if you're enjoying this one and you want to uh you want to keep up to date to see if this little tree works and survives and then we can get to the air layer in and then there's another procedure we've got to make sure survives and um, please like that so uh, like please like and hit that subscribe button yeah, keep keep us keep us going. Can't get my words out. Anyways, 
I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the sunshine for the day. Maybe I'll work on another tree. I've got a nice little sweet plum. Should we work on that? Let me show you. So I've got a triple trunk sweet plum. Might give it a little bit of a trim, what do you reckon? I shall leave it to early spring. She's indoors in the moment. Ah, I'll leave it for a bit. One for the future for you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get myself off and enjoy the rest of the sunshine and have a brew outside. Because, you know, 16 degrees in January. Lovely. Anyways, I'm mumbling. So I'm going to go. If you enjoyed it, please like and uh, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this little arch. Because, um, yeah, I do like this one and I want it to survive. So I'm going to go. Stop mumbling. See you next week. Bye-bye.